Hey neighbor, how y'all doing? Out there, it's Miss C, and I'm back with another Pick Me Up Monday, baby. <laughs> and today, I want to talk about insecurities and how insecurities cannot and will not stop your destiny. I wanted to bring up insecurities because I have a lot of the be lovelies here. What's up fam? How y'all doing? To my day ones before all of the be lovelies joining us and anybody that just might come across this video. My life has truly been transformed by that meeting. Uh, would be Love's Life, Bethany, which is now my mentor, and I look up to her, and I love her, and I thank God for her. I'm not going to cry. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Pick me up. Videos is supposed to be happy. <laughs> but, y'all, I'm just grateful because... I had a pulling, a tugging on my heart um, last year about making a YouTube channel and I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to put myself out there because I was already on a weight loss journey and, and I didn't want to do it in front of a whole lot of people because I was was not ready for the criticism that was going to come. Y'all forgive me, I'm a cry baby. Y'all gonna learn this about Missy. Look, I cry a lot. I am not the type of person that like to hold my emotions or my feelings in. So if I feel like laughing, I'm gonna laugh. Y'all already know. <laughs> if I feel like crying, I'm gonna cry. I'm not gonna hold it in. Because I am a recovering compulsive overeater. So therefore, my one of my issues is eating my emotions. When I go through things to be able to handle the situation instead of looking at that issue, problem, hurt, pain straight in the face, my coping mechanism was isolation, hiding away, and eating my feelings. And this is why your girl has gotten up to 300 and something pounds. I will talk more about that on my Watch Me Melt videos that is coming soon. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to format them. So, um y'all can enjoy them better but i'm talking about this for my pick me up monday video is because i like after the fact the comments i got about myself was nothing how the enemy was making me think it was going to be like nothing. God is so good, y'all. Oh, Lord. God is so good. Because God gave me the whole plan of what to do. And it was my decision to either step out on faith and write that letter to be love's life or not do it and the Lord gave me the courage and the boldness to write the letter and y'all like what's the big deal it was only writing a letter but I knew it was more attached to that letter than just writing a letter I was Writing a letter to ask somebody that I admired and I looked up to to be able to come 
to where they live and to visit, to spend time. I didn't even ask her to do any videos with her. I just wanted to be in her company. I wanted to learn from her. I wanted to glean behind her. I wanted to watch her record so I can see how she did everything behind the scenes so I could just learn. And she put me on camera, y'all, the first day I came in there. And if y'all could have saw my heart. Oh, it was pounding. I was nervous. I was scared because to have your own channel and you have right under 100 people watching you. Then be so blessed to be able to go on somebody else's platform and they have hundreds of thousands of people watching them it's totally different let me tell you it is totally different yes we might be in front of a camera and we're recording but to know that that many people is going to be watching you had me all kind of nervous <laughs> my nerves was shot baby <laughs> they were shot i was like oh my god this many people is going to see me. I'm used to seeing myself in the mirror. I didn't got cool with it, okay? But for that many people to see me, it made me kind of nervous. But it was in God's plan for me because when I asked, I said, hey, be lovely. After we had been talking for a while, like I've been talking to her way last year. And I said, hey, I was thinking about coming out there for my birthday. Can I come out there? <laughs> Y'all should have heard how I act. And she was like, yeah, sure, come over. I, I said, oh, my God. And she said, yes. She said, yes. And that was the start. But that wasn't the start of a beautiful friendship because I've been loving her for the longest. But it was the start of me getting myself mentally prepared to fly all the way out of town, up north to the Midwest, where I've never been before by myself. That took faith. Leaving my home, my vehicle, here by itself for a whole week. That took faith. <laughs> um, me picking out the right clothes. That took faith because I brought what I had in my closet. I did not go out and buy anything new. So those five, six videos you saw me and B-Love do, those clothes you saw was the clothes that's in my closet. <laughs> so I didn't go out and buy anything special. I came as I was. And I'm glad that people saw me for me. In the comments was so loving and so beautiful just like Bethany it's like all the be lovelies that gravitate toward her are so wonderful and so beautiful just as beautiful as the subscribers all my neighbors all around the world that God has blessed me with the world have some wonderful people so to say that the whole world is evil mm -mm. I would never say that. I would never say that because I have spoke with and conversated with some wonderful people. But, y'all, I was nervous. And, and that insecurity, like, tried to jump on my back like a wild tiger in the jungle hood. <laughs> Here come the devil talking. Mm-hmm. Them people going to tear you up. They going to be talking about how big and fat you are. They going to be talking about your double chin. And they going to be saying all kind of stuff. And I did not hear or see none of that. And if I would have allowed fear to stop me from walking into my destiny, Missy's Corner wouldn't be here. I would have never had the experience of going to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 
just me and the Holy Spirit, I wouldn't be on this health journey I am right now. Every time a blessing is about to come your way, that's when the enemy talks the loudest. So to anybody out there that have big dreams, I don't care what it is. It might seem my it might seem minute to you, meaning very small, but you never know how uh something small could change another person's life in a tremendous way. So tell fear to kiss your butt. <laughs> and press on because the blessing is in the pressing because all the fears and nervousness and anxiety that the enemy was trying to place on my shoulders to make me feel as though the weight of the world was on my shoulders was for nothing because God got my back my front my side to side he loves me and I know that that is all Miss C needs. That's all Kathy needs. At the end of the day, I know that every day God loves me. If I wake up or not. And I know after this life that I live, because I have made Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior, I'll have two lives. This one I'm living in, in the one to come. And that. I have to be. Okay with that. That's why. I'm not worried about not having a big house. I'm not worried about having. A whole bunch of cars. Or a whole bunch of stuff. Or a whole bunch of expensive clothes. And stuff like a lot of other people have. Because that stuff don't make me. I've already been made. And I was made by the best. And I want somebody out there to know that you were made by the best too. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are unique in every way. There is no one like you. It might have people that look like you. Because I go places all the time. And they say, hey, so-and-so, how you doing? And I'll bust out laughing. Because I know they... They not talk they not talking about me. They talking about somebody. <laughs> Cause I don't know who they talking about. <laughs> and I just laugh. I'm like, no, I'm not that person. But I look like them, don't I? And they be like, yeah, you look exactly like my cousin or my sister or my auntie or somebody. And I'll be like, oh, okay. But I'm just me. And I'm okay with being me. And I want you to be okay with being you. Because there's no one else like us. So whatever I have that God has blessed me with in my heart, those are the desires of my heart. And you have desires of your heart. But you will never be able to live them out and to be able to see them and for the world to see them if you allow fear to stop you. So does Missy have insecurities? You best believe I have. And people see them every day. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Me being transparent is not a problem for me now. But a long time ago, it was a problem. Anytime anybody tried to get close to me, any time somebody tried to befriend me, I'll take off running because I didn't feel as though I was worthy to be loved. I don't know why. Just another game the enemy play with us. And this is what I want you to understand. That God loves you just the way you are. He made you unique and perfect in every way. Yeah, we don't look how the world expects all of us to look. But I'm not living by the world standards no more. I'm not doing it. Because 
God didn't make me to be no stick figure. When, as I continue on my health journey or whatever, I will become smaller. Smaller. I'm not going to say skinny because I don't think I'll ever be skinny, skinny. Like 110 pounds in my life. I don't think I'll ever get down that small, but I will get down to a more healthier weight for me. But I know one thing, I will never get to that more healthier place if I don't love myself right now and the insecurities I have right now. Missy, what's some of your insecurities? Okay. Insecurity number one. This right here. <laughs> y'all, before I start doing YouTube, I knew I had a double chin, y'all. But baby, this thing look big as I don't know what on camera. When I had to put these videos out, the first couple of videos, I was like, oh my goodness, it looks so big on camera, y'all. And I be doing my little under chin exercises, but I dislike all this right here, my double chin. It ain't cute, but it's going to be right there till I lose weight and get it off. And another one of my insecurities, number two, is these. Flappy flats. <laughs> I got some big arms because I'm a big fluffy girl and people love my hugs because I'm so comfy. I'm so soft. But look, I want to be known for something else, okay, than just being soft. So, if y'all see me, y'all better hug me and enjoy these hugs while you can, okay? Because all this softness is not going to be here forever. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be soft. I just won't be as fluffy, pleasantly plump. Some of my plumpness is going to whiz out. Not whiz out. That, that wasn't good words. Okay, scratch that. Um, I was thinking of a balloon. Some of it ain't going to be there, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, yeah, but my arms. My arms is an insecurity because, like, the bottom part is small. But, like, I just don't like this part. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. I just don't like, like, the bottom part. Like, if I can, like, cut it, like, right there. Like, cut it. And then my little gunkums right here. These little fat parts. But that's going to leave, though, as soon as my arms get smaller. But, oh, them is my two insecurities. And I do have, like, a big belly for, like, a normal woman. My belly is kind of big. But, I mean, when you weigh 300 and some pounds, where do you think the weight is going to go? And you just don't get 300 pounds overnight. This took a lifetime to gain. So, I'm not going to lose it in a couple of months or maybe not even a year. It's going to take a good year to a year and a half to two years to get down to where I truly want to be. So, I'm just going to have to put in the work and love myself through the journey. Because you can't hate something and improve on what you hate. Why would you improve on what you hate? So, I have to constantly love on myself. Give myself hugs and kisses and do nice things for myself. Like go get my nails done. Go do my hair. Or purchase me a nice wig. Which y'all know I have a box that I still need to do reviews on. Which is coming soon. <laughs> so get ready for that. Um, Start putting makeup on and stuff. Fix myself up. The only reason why I really don't like putting makeup on y'all is because I'm not used to wearing it. I like a fresh face look. So when I put makeup on to other people, it's beautiful when they see me. But because I'm not used to wearing makeup, I guess that's insecurity number four. My double chin, my saggy arms, my belly, and 
how I look once I put makeup on because when I put makeup on I think I look ugly <laughs> but everybody else like it but it don't look good to me and that's only because I'm not used to wearing it all the time so I'm going to keep practicing the makeup and get better and better and hopefully one day I like it or love it or whatever but to me makeup look good on some people and look horrible on others and I do not want to be the person it look horrible on okay and by me not being a professional at it sometimes I feel like that when I put it on so it's going to take work and I'm willing to put that work in for myself. Ooh, I need a breather. All these emotions coming out. But, yeah, y'all. If y'all bold enough or courageous enough, put down in the comment section below one of your insecurities or something that you're working on this year to make your 2018 the year of leveling up and making it the best life you can possibly have thank you so much for coming and to be a part of my pick me up series I hope you were blessed. I hope you was encouraged. I hope you was motivated by hearing about my insecurities. <laughs> and being there for me while I cry on your shoulder. <laughs> I truly do appreciate it. I love y'all and I thank y'all so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.